Did you watch the movie 12 Angry Men? No. It was, a, it was an intense jury session. But, but I think that it, uh, it means that uh, we had three games that all had merit and were very strong candidates. And uh, we, uh, last, we kept the discussion until the last minute. Before we announce the winner, you guys as jury members, maybe a bit of quick reflection on what you've seen. <laughs> uh, I, I will start, so we'll get the process going. Uh, it was a really tough decision, obviously, we took too long to decide. Um, I thought that uh, one of the things I really liked about Checkmate is that I really like that form of game. I think it's really effective putting someone in a situation and that it really shows you, uh, it was the only one of these games where you put yourself in a situation where you can conceivably end up having sex. Uh, and I thought that that was something that would be powerful with the target audience of like 13 to 18 year olds because they like to try to be in situations where they can have sex and this was something that could also <laughs> portray to them things that you should be thinking about in those situations. Uh, so that's one of the things I really enjoyed about that game. Um, Safer Sex with Friends is the, the other game that we really liked and um, I love that it showed a variety of bodies because teens are always asking on our forums, on our website, am I normal, you know, is my penis big enough, is this my boobs the right size? So I love that that game um, really showed a variety in terms of bodies and body types and barrier methods. So that's, that's just a great, uh, a great thing about the game. So Alex, maybe you'll introduce yourself because you join us now. Hey everyone, I am Alex Medina and I work at Answer as the coordinator of web content and social networking. And uh, I think one of the things that I really enjoyed um, about all three of the um, finalists was that um, they really took different approaches um, to, you know, like the issue of safer sex. And, you know, out of three different approaches, it made our final decision uh, really quite, quite agonizing and painful, yes. So, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I think uh, I think we're okay with this decision, and you know what? We're yeah, we're we're totally totally yes. Okay. Yeah, and I, I completely agree with it. Everyone else said that all of these these ideas were great. I would be excited to see all of them become games. I hope they actually all will in one way or another. Um, we were really struck about uh, by Super Sex at Task Force, the, the only game that nobody else has mentioned so far. That was clearly, they had done uh, such good homework on the goals of Answer, and we're really covering a broad range of topics with, with a number of different game mechanics, and we were really impressed by, by that game's depth as well. Thank you, Lana. Um, so I, I, had, I was very torn between a game, a game that my daughters who are 13 and 15 would um, actually play for more than 20 minutes versus um, a game that can be um, presented in a public school setting where there are a lot of different restrictions and attitudes and, and uh, requirements. And I think that was a real um, challenge for, uh, for me in, in sort of um, judging all, all three games, which I thought were really great in their own way and for different audiences. Thank you. Okay, the big moment. I want to call to the stage Emily Treat, our senior producer. She worked on this contest. Yes. <laughs> she worked on this contest from the very beginning and with the contenders and with Answer and with Packer. Oh. Emily. You guys can't see this from here, but this is a huge bag of condoms for our <laughs> <laughs> So the winner is drum roll. Thank you, thank you, interactive audience. So the winner is Team Jimmy with six extra friends. Yeah.
who, who did a lot of work uh, brainstorming and designing this game with us, uh, and we're just really grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you.